In this video, we will be looking at how to dynamically pass the data, multiple values to the request, and how to execute by iterating the by iterating over the multiple test data. So let's see how to do that. So we'll be we'll be taking multiple values from the absolute list, and then we'll be iterating it. For the test, test set. Let me create one more. Through this script, through this script, so create the data. And let me when it is set up right now. All the code. We'll be reading multiple values. So let me create the file first. Past the value over here, using like it is for int k. So four values for int k and four values for int k. So I'll be using two variables. So multiple test data, multiple values, four iterations. The two values to impose the data. Let me save it. Here is the point. This is the proper format. Please use this format only. Multiple inputs. Let's go over the same script, just copy it into a small modification and we'll end up with that. This is small modification I need to create. So what we'll be reading is line by line we'll be reading, but in each line we are adding. Two different columns. I mean, two different inputs. We are reading line by line, so it will be coming like a string array. Okay, in the string array object we need to take it, and we need to what we need to do is that it will be separated by comma. So what we need to do, we need to use the split method, and we need to split it into two values. Okay, this data is an array. String data array is equal to test data. The first value will be I think A will be equal to data of zero. I think B and B equal to data one. Okay. So just let's Yeah. 
disconnect this one right here. So we are reading line by line. We are getting comma separated values with two inputs, that is two parameters. So that will be obtained as a string form, I mean a object, a string object, string array object, and then that we are splitting and we are storing it into an array, string array. And then we are reading individual first column value into India and second column values into into P and we are printing it over here. And then let's comment for us with it. Let's see what's happening here. Then we'll execute it. This. Let's just run and see. This works fine. And let's just pop the line. Let's see what we Error login detail. Create file. We need to see again the same thing. We need to know it's correct. Reading it line by line and then we are verifying it's not equal to line. We are showing the line data in the first one. So it goes in front and then we are splitting it. Okay, the string array, I kept it. Okay. Okay. Now, let me read the values for India first and later followed by into P. So, So we can see what are the values over here. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's for NK. Let's see the output for NK. We comment NK. And then comment NK. The values we pass for each day. Twenty to forty days. So we are now able to successfully read these values. Now we need to uh, we need to set the properties for int a and int b. Yes, test case level or project level or test level. Okay. So now let me set the properties. As we have done earlier, let me uncomment this. Please keep it the same. 
it will not change. So we need to say prevent for p. This setting one more variable to into b. Okay. So let me change this. That one. So that one and that two, we are storing it in in the end in the properties. So now, as we had utilized in the property, similarly we need to utilize in the B. So now this also we are getting dynamically from that cell part, CSV part. So this is how we need to fit. So values are for both A and B are run dynamically and we are iterating for each value of A and B to try our script for test uh, grow script and then we are printing the result for each request now let's execute it and see for example First value is 10 and 20, and the response is 40 first 10 and the first value of into B what we are set and 20 so results should be 30 20 30 should be 50 30 40 should be 70 and 40 50 should be 90 this should be the responses so let's see what went wrong I'm reading 1020, putting it, and then set the property. Okay. Now we're So now we're getting to the particular test set, and then we are running the particular test set in a particular context. Context of it will have these values. So we are getting the response of the artist and then we are showing it in an art response variable and then we are putting it into the XML variable and then we are getting the other variable and results and then we are printing the output so I'll print it right here okay. That's what I'm to see. Let's get it. So earlier we didn't print the output. That's the problem. So for 10.2, the output is 30. 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20.30, 20
Route to the 50, 30, 40, Route to 50, 70, and 40, 50, Route to the 90. And you can see by experiencing once again the blink color changes to green for every. Okay. So this is how we pass multiple test data and we iterate over the multiple test data. So this is all how we do data driven testing for APHS. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.